and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the first time having this sort of function or occasion. And for you to have included me after I have left about 12 years ago, I am overwhelmed and very grateful to God. And I am very taken aback at the way Witted has grown from a few women, now the whole hall is filled with women. And it is what seems stronger, years, almost 20 years after it was established. It started on a very loose foot, but now it's a giant, not only in Yaba Tech, but in Nigeria because I get communications from all over the chapters in Nigeria. We give glory to God. It is his doing. We thank him, we glorify him, we praise him for what he has done. And by the special grace of God, we take Yaba College of Technology is going to grow from strength to strength. And by the special grace of God, each and every one of you will be rated. The Witted Executive, I really thank you. Thank you. I pray that you will all end well. Because it's not everybody that starts well in Yaba Tech that ends well. And it's not only in Yaba, and it takes the special grace of God to even get to the stage of retiring. You are not kicked out. You didn't die on the job. You didn't end up in jail. It's the glory of God. And I pray it will be the same thing with you. I will advise in my own small way that you keep the flag flying. That you continue to be dedicated to whatever you are doing at whatever level. It doesn't matter. You are contributing your own quota, which is very, very important in the wheel of things that make things work. I will give you advice with my experience and I want you to keep it somewhere. If you have to write it down, put it in front of your bathroom mirror so that any time you wake up, you are making up, you are tying your game, you will see it. And it's one simple sentence. These two will pass. No matter how serious the problem is, it will pass. No matter how worried, how stressful you are, know that it won't last forever. Many of you are here during their Luther years, but everything has passed. All those troubles, all those wahalas, from the students, from every angle, these two has passed. So keep that in mind. And it also applies to the position you are all occupying. It's very, very important. Whether you are the rector, you are the dean, you are the clerk, you are the messenger, it's very important. And know that that too will pass. The Yorubas say, Office, Lombe Nyoga. When you keep that in mind, you will know that life is very simple. Do your best. Be very firm, but fair. And at the end of the day, it's God that justifies. <coughs> not people, not men, not women, not your God, not your subordinates. Know that you will leave that office. And while you are in that office, do your best. And know that you are going somewhere. You have a home. 
when you leave your office, when you leave all these fanfare, your family is the one that will be there. It's unfortunate that my husband couldn't be here today because he has other engagements. And some of you know that on such occasions, he had always been there for him, for me. Yes. He has always come to our functions. He has always been there. He has been a pillar of support. Somebody, when you get home to, you can cry on his shoulders. When, thank you. When you leave, it's that person that is with you now that you will have. Your children, your family, your in-laws, your brother, your sisters. Relate to them as if it's you are normal. Don't be abnormal. Don't carry the younger thing on your head. Because when the chips are down, they are the ones you will have left. Whether you are successful or not, they are the ones you will be left with. So take care of them, particularly your children. Don't say you are too busy. You can't go to that PTA meeting. You are too busy. You can't go and see your children's teachers when the children have problems. Take the time off. Know that in the Yoruba palace, I want to mark you. So take care of that. And while you are in office and out, take care of yourself. I was very glad and I congratulate Witted for bringing that doctor here to talk to us. Most of us don't take care of ourselves. We are too busy. We don't have time for checkup. Don't let anybody deceive you. If you die on the job, the work will continue. Right, so take care of yourselves. I don't know how many people went for checkups in the interval that they asked us to. If you didn't, you can still go. If you can't go to that special one, go and see your doctor. Let them give you a checkup. There is something going on in your body that you may not know. Whether something is going on or not, let them find out and tell you in time. This is very important. The other aspect of it that I will give you is that make sure you take your annual leave. Oh, Mama. Don't say the academic calendar is too busy, I can't go on leave, I will convert my leave to monetary gain. No! Take your leave, if, even if it's only two weeks. You don't have to travel abroad to spend your leave. You can go to your village. You can even stay in your house, turn off the phone, Wake up when you want to, sleep when you want to. If there are other avenues to relax and enjoy yourselves, do so. And when you come back, you will be recharged. You will be full of energy to continue your work. And I'm glad the rector is represented here. The top management people are here. Make sure your staff go on leave. When you are planning the academic calendar, at the school level, at the college level, departmental level, slot in the leave calendar and let them go. And ensure that it is strictly adhered to. This is very important. This aspect is that think of your retirement. What are you going to do? Don't, do? don't be in a situation where you retire and you start thinking of what do I do? All those small, small things that you have been doing in the past when you were, on the, when you were in service. Continue and make sure you are not bored. Make sure you wake up, you are thinking of what to do and what to do has to be productive. For your family, let me tell you, the retirement benefit they are giving you will never be enough yes. to sustain you. So, think of that, ask for God's grace, and be grateful to God for whatever 
you are able to achieve or get. That's my word of advice. My congratulations go to all my colleagues on this side. We retirees, we thank God that we are in this situation today. It's good to retire, let me tell you. Don't be afraid. When I retire, you, you know, what am I going to do? You know, how do I get up? No, it's a good life. And if you look at the table, look at their faces. They are not suffering. And some of them, let me say some of us, are even looking better than what we were when we were here. So, take care of yourself. I want to thank very seriously my colleagues. Thank you. All the executive members for picking it up to organize this kind of send-off for us. It's very good. Please come up, all the executive members. This is a workshop. Please come. I handed over the baton to you. They will do this for you. By the time you leave, the Lord will bless you, glorify you, and everything belongs to God. And the Lord will direct you. You will continue to steer the ship of witches to a very hard stage. And for whatever you are doing, you are not doing it in vain. Aspire to be better every day. Think of new things. And the Lord will bless you. I really thank you. I appreciate you. And the Lord will appreciate you. Yeah. On behalf of all my colleagues, I thank you. The Lord thank will you. thank you and bless you. Yeah.